fucking hate animal rights activists and I'll tell you why. I'm trying to figure out if this girl is someone that I want to cover on the podcast this week or not because the news is kind of light and I do think this is very interesting. So she blew up on here trying to do a trad wife thing. This is to my understanding. She blew up on here trying to do a trad wife thing, said the N-word, obviously got chased off the app, um, posted like a non-apology video. Uh, then she moves over to X and on X, the neo schmatzies find her there and they decide that she has a big nose and they go through her Instagram profile and they see that she actually also got a nose job. So in their minds, that means that she is hiding her Jewish heritage. This is all like very upsetting, by the way. I probably should just do a trigger warning anyway. Um, but yeah, so they decide that she's Jewish. They also decide, so she goes by the last name Gaddis now, but they found out that she used to go by her father's last name. She changed her last name because she doesn't associate with her father. Her father's last name was Coleman. And they decided because it ends with a man that they, <laughs> they think that that's a Jewish name when Coleman is actually like an English surname that goes back hundreds of years. So now she's kind of like fumbled her bag by like banking on the alt-right um, and then being immediately rejected by a good portion of them. But at the same time, she has like made fans and people like Alex Jones, Milo Yiannopoulos. Um, there are these twins on here, Hodges twins or something, who I guess used to post like thirst traps, but now they've gone all right. I will tell you when I was going through like X yesterday, like trying to piece all of this together, I was shocked, stunned by the amount of black people that were like, you go girl, <laughs> the fuck? And like, not people that I think are doing the like, as a black man thing. And trust me, like I know there's, you know, <laughs> black people are like any other Americans and that like, they are allowed to have their own fucking political beliefs. And there definitely has been, I've noticed it, a huge uptick in the last few years of people who really support Trump. There was always black people who really supported Trump, but now I think because of everything that's going on in the world, um, there is an increase of that. And I was just, I'm sorry, it'll never not like flummox me, but I will say that I think this girl is doing like a weird HRH collection attempt at like launching a brand. And when you go and watch this video and the one before it, this is like her new account. And I'm not stitching this to like give her views or anything like that. But if you were interested in this story, you're probably gonna find the account anyway. Um, I think she's kidding. Like, I don't believe that she believes what she's saying. Because when she came back, her tone especially after, you know, X really seemed to flip on her. Her tone has changed. Like, there was never anything, like, super serious feeling about the way that she was talking. Like, it didn't have, like, the sobriety of a standard sort of Fox News talking head. Um, and I don't think it's, like, a Gen Z thing. I think that, I think that this girl doesn't believe her own bit. And it's just interesting. It's very interesting. Do you think this is worth covering on the show though? I don't know. Let me know. Oh, I do a podcast about trending news, by the way, if that's of interest to you. And for the most part, I don't think our audience is the type that is going to be where like if this information is put in the wrong hands, like it's sending her followers. I don't think our, our audience, uh, we're very vocal about our political, I, I don't think you'd last a minute on our show if you were gonna be like, let me go check out this girl, she has some salient points. Anyway.